Hey, I'm Jeff. And I'm Phil, and we're the Cocktail Dudes. Today we're making the Mango Fire Margarita. Ooh, I'm on fire! <laughs> this is one darn delicious drink. It is. It's awesome. You got your sweetness, mm -hmm. tartness from the mango. Yep. A little bit of bite, ginger bite from the Canton ginger liqueur, and then hotness. That spice. Hotness, that spice, yeah, from the habanero. Habanero pepper. Now, yeah. I can't handle hot, but I like this drink. Yeah. An example of that is a friend of mine. Yes. We went out to eat and he loves really hot dishes. So we had this dish with habanero peppers in it. And he's eating it and he's got sweat coming down his brow <laughs> and his, he's almost crying and his nose is watering. He just looks a mess. And I just reach over and pick up a seed with my finger and put it on my tongue. And I'm just like, my tongue is numb. It's on fire. It was like the worst thing ever. And yeah. I can't believe he ate that whole dish. This isn't that bad. Because so, no. we don't model the habanero. If you do, you probably kill somebody. Yeah, we just shake <laughs> it with ice, yep. and that muddles it enough to give just the right amount of spice. But yeah, if you want to kill somebody, you muddle it first. <laughs> and then say, here, try this deer. It's all that capsaicin. You only want a little bit of the capsaicin. That's what makes it hot. I remember when the habanero peppers, that was the, used to be the hottest pepper. Yep. Said, oh, you got to go get a habanero pepper because it's like, oh, crazy. Right. But now, so now it's the ghost pepper is the hottest, right? Right, right. Yeah, you got then, jalapeno pepper, and then 40 times hotter is the habanero. Oh, yeah? Yeah, but actually the ghost pepper, that's the hottest one now, and they'll probably come up with another one later down the road. Another one. Yeah, we'll have so, to feature the, the ghost pepper at some point. <laughs> right. But the ghost pepper is actually only three times hotter than the habanero. Yeah, but that's 120 times hotter than, than the jalapeno. Oh, my gosh. Good I'm like Lord. a human computer today. <laughs> well, we do have a cocktail that features the jalapeno. We do. Our Hellfire Damnation cocktail, which is also a margarita. Mm -hmm. Very tasty. Check that one out. Um, but this is very good, too. So we should stop yammering and begin making it, right? Let's make it. All right. We're going to start with two ounces of mango puree. We also have a video that uh, shows you how you can make your own mango puree. Yep. So check that out. Typically, we just use this store-bought kind, be kind because it's easier, lasts longer. One and three quarters ounces of tequila. Use your favorite tequila. We like um, a clear tequila, silver tequila or a platinum tequila, because it keeps the drink more of an orangey color, uh, rather than turning it sort of a little more muddier brown color with a regular tequila. Mm -hmm. We're gonna do three quarters of an ounce of the ginger liqueur. Now we always feature a lot of the purees and the other things. We always do our own homemade because we found it tastes a hell of a lot better if you make it yourself. Quit swearing for crying out loud. I know. My I mom know. watches these. <laughs> it's on the internet. We can do anything we want. We, we a lot of times make our own puree, but we but more times than not we don't. Yeah. Because like everybody, we like to do things easier when mm -hmm. it's possible. Mm -hmm. It does taste a little better. You're right. But it's not always worth it. Right? That's true. Yeah. In this way, you have this in your refrigerator. Someone comes over and says, make your mango fire martini. You you're ready it. to go. Or margarita, rather. If you're doing a big margarita party, though, that's the time where maybe you would take it. That's when we do it, yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do half an ounce of agave nectar. And on top of that, I'm just going to put half an ounce of lime juice. Oh, crap. Oh, that's coming. That one kind of sputtered out. <laughs> <laughs> well, I used a small half of the lime. I figured that would be enough. It was and perfect. It just was. Thank goodness. And then uh, one habanero pepper. We already have it sliced up. Just slice it and leave the seeds in there and everything because we're going to strain those out. And just plop that right in there. We're going to add some ice and give it a good shake. Now you definitely don't want the seeds in the drink, so we're actually going to double strain it. The seeds are the hottest part, right? That's right. Yeah, I figured out. You, you learned that on your own. <laughs> the hard way. So you just use a fine mesh sieve, pour that right through. A couple ways you can garnish this. Sometimes we throw on a lime wheel, um, sometimes a habanero pepper, sometimes both. So today we're going to just add a habanero to the side. 
go. And there you have your delicious, sweet, tart, and spicy mango fire margarita. Enjoy. Cheers.